Hello guys, good morning. I hope you're all doing really, really well. Welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I would bring you guys along with me and we can spend the day together. I have an appointment booked to have my hair done. I think, I don't know whether I'm going to go with T-zone highlights or half head. I definitely don't need full head because that's what I had last time I went to the salon and then a bit of a trim as well so I'll bring you along with me to that appointment but it's back where we like where we used to live and there is a really good there's actually a few really good home bargains around there so I always whenever I go make the trip back towards that way and get my hair done because I have the best hairdresser ever so I have to go back there um it's probably about a 50 minute drive but for me it's well worth it and I use that opportunity to have a little browse in the really good home bargains that is over there so I just can't find a decent home bargains like South Manchester if anyone has any recommendations do let me know same with Poundland there doesn't seem to be any Poundlands around here or half decent ones anyway this is why it really like throws me back to when i used to live back where i lived before towards burnley way and i felt like i was spoilt with choice when i used to upload home bargains and panland hauls quite regularly i had so many people say how um oh your home bargains your panland is so good now i get it because the choice around here is quite limited. We've got loads of B&Ms, we've got the range, we've got Dunnell, we've got everything else, but Home Bargains and Poundland, I just don't think we have the best options around South Manchester, unless I'm missing something. So let me know if you do have a secret home bargains or panland that you like to go to anyway i'm gonna head back there get my hair done i think i might actually try and get to home bargains first have a little browse there if i do pick anything up which i'm sure i will let's face it i'm making the trip back to a really good home bargain so i'm sure i will then i'll show you guys later on when i get back what i do end up picking up and as well if i pop into Poundland probably after the hairdressers if I do that then again anything that I do get I'll let you know. There is one thing I wanted to mention at the start of this video I am very kindly working with Readly on today's video and Readly is if you haven't already heard of it firstly where have you been because it is everywhere and so many people I know that use it now it's essentially an online platform an app that you can access from like your tablet I personally use it on my phone but Tom also has it on his his iPad you can have it on up to five devices which is amazing from just one account you've got access on there to unlimited reading of over 5,000 magazines and newspapers so going to the hairdressers prime example of when I would use Readly I just like to browse the magazines there's so many to choose from I also um, really like saving recipes and things and you can save articles as well for offline reading they have all archived magazines as well so you don't just have like this month's release you can go back and look at some previous previous editions. If you've got kids, they can do some child-friendly reading. Tom tends to like to look at the magazine. He likes stuff and like gadget magazines or newspapers as well. So whether you just want to catch up on the news of the day or you want to find a new hobby, do some new reading, then I will leave a unique link in the description box, which if you click through that specific link, you will get access for six weeks free of charge to the Readly app that you can try. Try it out, see what you think. It's cancel anytime. So if you decide it's not for you after that six weeks free, you can do so. Otherwise thereafter it's 9 99 a month, which I think is so affordable for the amount of content that you get. So once you have downloaded the app, you have the access to all the different magazines that you can see here. Another magazine that I tend to like to get a bit of inspiration from is magazines like Country Life or Interiors. Oh my God, look at that dog. Oh, how cute. Oh, I've just discovered a new one called Homes and Antiques that I feel like I'm gonna like. So anyway, I am going to get on the road. I'm gonna take my phone, obviously, my phone goes everywhere I go, get my hair done and get on with some reading. So let's get on the road and I'll see you guys when I get there. You look at me like I'm crazy. When I shut my feelings out You look at me like I'm different Still you stay cause you feel something real Get so lost in my moments Doesn't mean I don't need you I, 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 I fell in love with your colors They kinda tell me what I'm thinking I fell in love with the way we are And the way we live there's something different about us And the reason why we stay Stay We fly around like paper planes They never know where we will fall Nobody can see us Still they wanna tear us apart There's something different 
different by the way we are. are, are. Ooh, 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 ooh. Now time for the hairdressers and if you were interested the hairdressers that I go to is called Christian Smith. I have appointments every sort of two to three months and I alternate each time between having a full head of highlights and a half head of highlights and today I was booked in for half head of highlights and I always have a trim every time as well just to keep the ends of my hair in good condition so that it grows nice and healthy especially with having highlights it's so important to just keep on top of the condition of your hair and I find by having a trim every time this really really helps. I also have her pop through a couple of kind of lighter baby lights through the top just so that the growth isn't sort of obvious in between salon visits. So whilst I sit and bake for 20 to 30 minutes I always enjoy a quick read on Readly of some newspapers or magazines and of course take my lunch with me too. I feel like my makeup's washed off a little bit, but I am out of the hairdressers now. I've had my roots done, which is lovely. It feels a lot fresher. God, this steering wheel's always so much higher than I need it to be. Anyway, I'm all done. I've had some layers cut back in. I am going to get on the road. Whoa. So I'm gonna go um, en route back home now. I am gonna go via Poundland, because I feel like I don't know, I've just got that shopping bug. I've been on Instagram and I've been looking at some of their new in bits recently. Um, and also some like the Valentine's stock things. So I thought I would just pop in. I'm passing. Why not? So yeah, I'm gonna head there now. Tom's uh, working late tonight, always got a late meeting. So I'm dining solo tonight. I'm gonna go pick up Barney from Doggy Daycare. They've been doing agility and sending me videos of him. It's so cute. So uh, yeah. Poundland, pick up the pup at home for a solo dinner. In fact, I will share with you guys as well everything that I did pick up because I've got a boot full of home bargain stuff. And who knows, might pick up some Poundland bits too. So let's go. It's 2 a.m. and I can't fall asleep. Cause I'm not tired I'm thinking about the days we used to shine When we were young I told you that we should start a band And reach for the sky It's 2 a.m. and I can't fall asleep I'm just not tired I can hear the raindrops falling It's cold outside and I kind of feel like calling But it's too late now I just miss you I just miss you mm -hmm. We were such a constellation right? No you to agree Wow, these are heavy. How nice is this basket? Get onto that in a, a second. Oh, right. So it's a new day. By the time I got back, it was pitch black, pretty much. And then I had to go and pick up um, Barney and it was just getting quite late. So I thought I would save this part of the video until today, brand new day. I've also had a chance to curl my hair. I use, if you are interested, I use the GHD Curve tongs so i'll leave them linked and i've literally just freshly curled it so they will drop a little bit so anyway i did go shopping yesterday on route home i went to poundland which you'll have seen and i also popped into asda which is right next to just to pick up a couple of foodie bits that i needed so i will start with asda actually why not i did pick up a few bits whilst i was in there their homeware really impressed with asda home 
First I picked up another one of their wax melt burners. I love the shape of these ones. There's something about the fact that it's just plain and simple and square as well because most wax melt burners that you see around. So I quite like the fact that it's square and they're only £2.50 as well. And to go with it, I picked up my all-time favourite wax melts, the Cuddle Up. They're from the brand Sensationals, which is a USA brand. They stocked them in Asda at £2 each or 3 for £5. And this one is... Oh, it's so good, honestly. It's in the scent Tonka and Oud. And it honestly just smells so fresh and lovely. So yeah, I picked up another one of these. I actually only just went for the one because I do have a pack currently on the go. I saw these spice jars in there and I was tempted to get a full set and I'm still thinking about doing that. They're only 90p each and I thought I could maybe decant some spices into here. Then I also got these for the kitchen, some wooden serving tongs. They are like acacia wood, which is that kind of trend which is all over sort of Zara home, even Primark are doing it now, but these were £4 for the set of salad servers and I just really liked the look of them. We could do with a bit of a clear out of some of our wooden spoons. There is something about using a wooden spoon that I'm a bit like, ugh, about because it's like, I don't know, it holds bacteria a bit more, doesn't it? But as a server spoon and fork like this, I love them. Then I also picked up this from Asda, which I am always in need of lots of cozy blankets and stuff downstairs, especially on the sofa. We have a black sofa and a golden retriever. The two don't mix very well. So when we eventually renovate downstairs, we will buy a brand new sofa. But for now, we're just sticking with the one we've got. And so I just prefer to just cover the sofa in throws because it's a lot easier to just bung these in the wash on a regular basis. So we always kind of have a couple clean a couple in use so that when those ones go in the wash I've got the clean ones ready so I thought this one would look really nice down there it also look nice on um like bedding this was 15 pounds last but not least from Asda I picked up this they've got this new range of home fragrance and I just loved the aesthetic the bottle the sound of this smells amazing as well white mint and eucalyptus this is a scented room spray but they had candles reed diffusers and it smells lovely and fresh. Oh, that does smell really nice, actually. So that's everything I got from Asda. I did pick up a few bits from Poundland, which I'll show you now. And the rest of the things are actually home bargains. As always with Poundland, I did pick up a scratch card. And they have the new Valentine's edition. Their scratch cards are for charity. So I always like to get one at checkout. I will scratch this off once I've shown you all the bits that I did get from Poundland. So the Poundland in Burnley does have a Pep & Co clothing range in. So I picked up one t-shirt from women's wear at six pounds. I did get it in a size 20 because I want it as an oversized tee on me for maybe more in the summery months with like cycle shorts on dog walks and things or even just like with jeans. This I think will look really nice. Just kind of tucked in. It reminds me of the aesthetic of the Aneen Bing t-shirts. So this one just says Wellness Club, Laguna Hills, California. Yeah, and the Aneen Bing ones are a lot more than six pounds and I love that kind of style this is more of like a acid wash grey just a distressed looking tee that if nothing else a great tanning t-shirt or a bedtime shirt but I actually do really like the look of that one it feels super soft as well this was reduced at the tills in the clearance with it being Christmas stock to 75p and if you've had these then let me just say you will understand this is like a solid block of milk chocolate, thick milk chocolate with the Reese's peanut butter filling. So yum, so naughty. As is this, it's Easter. The mini eggs chocolate bar is divine. And for a little weekend treat, that's what I'm trying to do is maybe just the odd piece of chocolate here and there, but overall trying to be healthier during the week and then the weekends. I just can't be that person that diets. I'm not a dieter. I don't really like the idea of dieting. So living a more healthier lifestyle, especially during the week, with the odd treat here and there, I'm not going to restrict myself, but then at the weekends I'm much more relaxed, we might get a takeaway, we might, I might have some chocolate. Tom's doing really well, he pretty much hasn't had chocolate for a month. I just can't do that. I'm blaming it on the fact that I'm a woman and my body craves chocolate, so I'm just going to give my body what it needs. I've never seen this scent before, Harpic Active Fresh in Lavender Fields. I usually go for the pine one, which I did actually get one of in my Home Bargains bit, so I'll show you that in a sec. But Lavender Fields I saw and I thought, oh, I don't think I've, 
Well, I've never tried it and I don't think I've ever seen it before either. So I like to have one bleach in every toilet for convenience. So that one can go in the spare bathroom. Pine I will have in my bathroom. Speaking of going in the spare bedroom, I got these eye masks. So as and when we have guests stay or if we wanted to, I thought it'd be quite a nice idea to have uh, on the bed, you know, like if you put towels out for guests or whatever, to pop a couple of these on, especially for us right now because we are yet to have shutters fitted or blinds or anything measured up so it's quite light i mean we're quite used to it now and i actually quite like the natural light coming in or the moonlight at night time but for other people that aren't used to that it's maybe nice to have the option at least of having an eye mask so these ones are a beautiful satiny beige color it just says and relax and it's got a removable gel pouch pouch sorry not patch um inside as well if you wanted that kind of cooling sensation from their bamboo honest eco range i actually picked up a few things so i got four things from this range that they now do they do have more in fact i actually have a bath brush let me show you let's take you into my bathroom so you can see it i have it on my bath tray and i just love the look of it so it is this brush sorry it's going to be a bit echoey in here but it's this brush that i picked up quite a while ago now i honestly have never used it i like it more for the look so yeah that kind of natural wooden this also the wood from this range is a really nice complementary match to the white company wood like this is this bath tray is from the white company so i picked up this body brush now this is going to go in my shower i currently have one of those white like loofers and i always like to refresh them every every now and again because i don't know i just mine sat on like a shower niche like a inbuilt shower shelf and there always is a little pool of water and it sits in it and i'm like oh just like stagnant water i don't know i just like to refresh every once in a while so i thought i would try this with it having this little loop tag oh let me take it out actually so you can see it's got this kind of canvas handle that i thought i could either hang or even if i just set it like this then i know that that bit that sat on the shower shelf with maybe if there's any water residue or anything then the bit that you clean your body with is going to stay nice and dry i feel like it's going to be nice and exfoliating but it's quite soft then i also got a um hair wrap another one of these this bamboo headband the fabric of this is honestly so soft so i feel like this will be a nice headband to pop my hair back whilst i'm doing my makeup and then this lastly this little set of three face pads that come in this little canvas bag i also picked up this i thought this was beautiful the actual aesthetic of it it is a little bit late to be purchasing a diary but i saw this and i just loved the look of it it's a 2022 planner it says work hard dream big work hard on the front it's just very simply a day page day to page is that what it's called page a day <laughs> diary so practical and look nice too and that was i think that was one pound fifty that one at one pound i picked up this from the uh, book section that they had they had quite a few of these so it's tanya's christmas make bake and celebrate i thought this would look nice on display in our future kitchen i did have a tanya bear book i ended up donating it because the front cover was damaged so i can't remember if it was this one or a different one I'm pretty sure she had another one but yeah i ended up donating it anyway this one is like an overall christmas from tanya bear she's got a bit of makeup in there a bit of um wrapping paper mold wine treats all sorts in there it's just a nice overall christmasy feel good book so i'm gonna scratch off this scratch card see what we've got and then move on to sharing with you the home bargains bits which are my fave because such a good home bargains match three prizes to win 100 3 10 5 10 100 4 5 25 no win on that one right moving on to home bargains now i'll share with you some of the bigger items that i got home bargains have some of the best kind of hidden secret discount finds of which these i thought were a great value for money so the vivo from vilroy and bock group which is a really good brand i think the biggest discount i found was something that was 99 you'll have seen on the vlog clips if you see carefully i'll show you the prices there was something reduced from 99 pounds down to 
I think it was $24.99 or something. So I got three things from this range. Firstly, this pan, which we are in need of. I've just got rid of one that we have completely destroyed. We've had it for, well, it was Tom's when I met him and I met him it'll be eight years this summer that we've been together and he had it when like before I met him so it was well loved and well destroyed so it's time to upgrade and get a new one and these are all great because they work on induction 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 hobs too so I feel like we might maybe invest in an induction hob when we do do the kitchen when we get around to it eventually which hopefully we've had some good news that we might be able to get started in March with all the renovations so if you don't think it's crossed for that because if we can get going in March on the renovations for the extension we could be done this year fingers crossed we'll see I might look back at this and go oh my god she's so naive or I might look back and go yeah you did it we will soon find out and obviously I'll document the whole journey but anyway this Vilroy and Bok uh, Vivo pan. We do have a pan like this that is larger. It was the smaller one that I wanted to replace. I need prices because I forget. $13.99 that one is. Then I also picked up at $5.99 this roasting tin. I just couldn't say no to this because of the re price reduction of it. It's just well worth it. So yeah, it's just a plain roasting tin. I think the original price of that one was something like 25 pounds or something and then last but not least the biggest item that i picked up oh my gosh it's heavy and by the way these don't just work on induction these work on um any surface including induction which is great so we can get get use out of these now once we don't have an induction hob yet so the wok and lid set was 19.99 but yeah that's what it looks like it's nice and big generous in size it's quite heavy I just love it. There's nothing better when you feel like A, you've got a bargain, but B, you've got real good quality that's gonna last. So yeah, that is that. Uh, moving on, they also had these um, from the Jamie Oliver range, from the kitchenware range. They had a couple of things. I picked up the dressing maker shaker because we don't really have anything to make a dressing with like this. I think this one was £4.49. I'm saying I think because you know when their receipt doesn't print off half the numbers or they're kind of smudged so I can't really tell but I think it was 4 49 I did actually vlog this one but this is what it looks like it's got the measures on there and you've just got the lid to pop your dressing bits in the shake part at the top so yeah I feel like yeah I mean it's Jamie Oliver so it should be decent enough Quality. Tom's gonna have a field day with all this new kitchenware. He's gonna be so happy seeing as he's the one that's the chef of the house. So like I said, I've got Harpic, Active Fresh, and Mountain Pine. It's still the winter edition. They didn't have any of the normal ones in, so I just picked up that. I did pick up these. These are the Spiced Apple Limited Edition Finished Tablets. Again, these are a great reduction in price. I think in Home Bargains, they're about £4.50 or £4.49, I think they are. And they retail for about £11 usually, so and they smell amazing. The spice of ones are my fave. Again, another sort of discount item that I found are these three drinks from the brand Saville. I've never heard of this brand before, but they are non-alcoholic cocktails, alcohol-free cocktails that you can mix up and have at home. Now, this one is just a plain G&T, but then I also saw these two flavors that I thought I would try out, the Tennessee Sour and Old Cuban flavor. So I feel like these are going to be yum, you know, like if you're just fancying a bit more of like a mocktail style drink as opposed to an alcoholic cocktail, you can even add alcohol to it, I suppose. I also got some whole grain mustard that we needed and some sea salt. Then I also stocked up another 1001 cup of fresh. This is the pet one, which is Thai orchid and passion fruit. Then I got a XXL pack of one of these Provoke Touch of Silver shampoos. I always go in with a purple shampoo on my hair and this one is a really affordable option if you're on a budget or like me, what I tend to do is double shampoo and then condition my hair. So whatever shampoo and conditioner I'm currently using, whether it be a purple one or not, I'll always go in with a second shampoo, like quite a generous amount. So I like to get this kind of cheaper alternative. I think these are 99p, but honestly, they work. They're amazing. And they do a brunette version as well now, which I think is in blue packaging. Then I got these two products, which are, they smell amazing. 
This one is the Lenore Unstoppables in the wash scent boosters. These are winter edition vanilla sparkle, but I just think that's the lavish scent. It's the same color, but I think it's just in the winter packaging. And then I saw this that they do now in the lavish scent, the Lenore, no, not Lenore, Febreze Unstoppables, a fabric refresher. At only £2.49, I spotted this rattan photo frame, which I thought was a good little dupe for a Zara one, which I've got, or something along those lines anyway. I got three of these uh, Starbucks sachets. I was actually hoping to find the caramel one, I didn't, but I picked up these three anyway. The mocha, which are one of my faves, the cappuccino and the cafe latte. They're just a really good quick instant coffee that is super super creamy so i love using these they come as like individual sachets stick things and you get five in a box i picked up some gift cards which i think they've got a new range of gift cards in um home bargains so i thought this one was i don't have many sort of happy birthday ones for him so i thought that was quite a nice kind of classic i guess for him or for her 69p and then this one 69p as well a congratulations card i got some treats for barney he he is spoilt and I do like to give him one of these treats he seems to love these pedigree treats so he's on a raw diet but every once in a while he does get one of these treats and seems to love them so the jumbo and jumbo maxi and then these are really good these rodeo duos I pop these I kind of break them up and put them in his Kong wobbler or whatever it's called where he has to like pour it or play with it to get the treats out the hole so i put them in there this is new i've never seen this before i mean i'm saying it's new it might not be but I, it's new to me this is the from minky it's a screen and tablet cloth so you actually get in here an antibacterial cloth for cleaning your screens but also a free little mini cloth that is included that i guess you could have for on the go removing fingerprints and smears on your screens without any damage then as you saw when i was coming in this basket that i picked up for 7.99 I thought it was a great size. It's essentially a log basket, but I'm always on the hunt for new kind of wicker baskets like this. I love wicker. So to have um, such a big basket for only 7 99 despite the fact that it's a log basket, I might use it for throws or for, I mean, I could use these for like Barney's toys and throws by his bed, throws by the sofa bedroom in a bedroom you could put some throws in so just to kind of give it that cozy vibe until we get a log burner then maybe i will use it as a log basket one day moving on to the last item that i got and it's actually a set of clothes a loungewear set that i picked up so in the bottoms in a 10 to 12 i got these in it's a ribbed kind of knit oatmeal colored uh jogging cuffed jogging cozy trouser style top bottoms Oh my god and then the top is just a plain and simple like v-neck slouchy kind of fit top so i might try this on actually so you can see what it looks like so back in two seconds so this is what the loungewear set looks like it's very comfortable you could tuck in the uh, top or do like a little half tuck so you can kind of see the waistband of the trousers um but they are they are quite high-waisted. They are quite a relaxed fit, actually. I was worried that maybe 10, size 10 might be too snug on the bottoms because I want them to be comfy, but actually 10 to 12 is a good fit for me. So yeah, this is what the top looks like a bit closer up. So you can see that kind of ribbed detailing. It's very soft. It was by far, in my opinion, the best of the clothing ranges that they had, the best set. They had loads of those snuddies, actually. You know, the kind of like cozy hoodie blanket type things which I already have two so I don't need another one of those but they are honestly the coziest thing ever highly recommend if you don't already have one um but yeah this is what this set looks like I also I don't think I've shown you this little setup that I've done on my chest of drawers I kind of had a bit of a restyle of these drawers I wanted to add the height and the little kind of personal touch with those photos and then also I got this tray from Zara a while ago and never really found a home for it so I thought the little oil and my oil diffuser 
diffuser kind of sits quite nicely on that and then I've just stacked it on top of my eat drink nap book and then on the other side I have my fireside candle which I'm just burning very rarely to be honest with you because I just want it to last it's like a little treat to myself whenever I'm filming if it's in the background of a video just to have it on because otherwise I'm not going to have it on when I'm not in this room um, but anyway I also got these two uh, photo frames from Zara recently you may have seen these in my home updates video where I did a bit of a updated house tour and our plans for our renovations moving forward I just love the kind of distressed look to this one and then um, the cream and black of that one I love both of those and got this one this photo in black and white which is myself Tom and Barney this was actually pre him being allowed to go on walk so we had to carry him at this size and he was getting really heavy but he just liked the bit of fresh air we literally just walked across the road to the park and then um and brought him back home but that was a cute little photo from when he was a little baby and then this was in Barbados on what I would possibly say was one of the best days of my life we had such a good day we went out on a catamaran for some family friends um birthday I think it was his 60th so they'd like booked this boat trip for a couple of hours we went swimming with turtles there was a shipwreck honestly it was just the best day and then we got back to this beach and it was like happy hour at the bar so we all had like frozen margaritas and honestly it was just music was playing sunset i know it's in black and white so you can't see the sunset but it was beautiful sunset with the boat on the horizon honestly it was lovely so i feel like we could do with a little barney fix in this video before i close it out i think i might even stay in this little lounge set oh it's 16 pounds by the way for this set i forgot to mention that to the chaos downstairs oh hello sweetheart oh bonnie boo what are you snoozing see what i mean just loads of throws on this sofa because this little hairy monster likes to shed don't you oh yeah kisses oh. Thank you, you're so cute. So guys, that is gonna conclude today's video. I hope you guys have enjoyed spending the day slash and this morning with me. Are you quite finished there, sir? Oh yeah. <laughs> that tail. Hi buddy. Oh, should we have snuggles on this sofa? Shall we have snuggles? And I do quite like working from the sofa so I can just give him cuddles. Be on my laptop. Anyway, thank you so, so much for watching this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed coming to the salon with me, doing a little bit of shopping, a little haul. And uh, thank you once again to Readly for working with me on today's video. I hope you guys love it as much as I do. I'm, I'm sure you will. I will leave that link in the description box below. Make sure you use it to click through and get the six weeks free. Try it out. See what you think. You can cancel it afterwards. Cancel any time, but only $9.99 there after a month. It's well worth it for the amount of content that you get. Myself and Barney are going to have a work from home day today for the rest of the day. I'm going to edit this video for you guys, get it up and hopefully see you in my next video bye guys <laughs>